Now over to a man who always runs with it, Chef Mark, and it's another Whoop Wednesday, so you've got some company today. Yeah, yeah. certainly have, yeah. It's another Wednesday, it's Whoop Wednesday, and I've got Andrew in the kitchen joining me, and we've All got right. a fantastic dish for you, and it's Greek today, isn't it? So what are we cooking? Greek lamb with roasties, capskin, and a bean and feta salad. Fantastic. Well, it sound, dressing, so sounds great. Yeah. So we've got the lamb, we're going to make tzatziki, we've got a absolutely. pomegranate dressing to make, roasted vegetables, it's going to be absolutely fantastic. Come mm. back a little bit later and we'll show you all the secrets of this fantastically tasty dish. Go to Ziki. Dish. Great to have you with us in the Cafe Kitchen for another Whoop Wednesday, my favourite day, which means we get to see how to make one of the Whoop meals from scratch. And we've got our guest, Chef Andrew Curtis. How are you, Andrew? Good, Good. to have you here. Yeah, you too. You're a bit of a live wire in the kitchen, aren't you? Eh? I think yeah. we're in for a bit of trouble. Whoop Wednesday, here <laughs> we go. Yeah. Um, OK, what are we doing? You've basically taken meat and three veg and you've made it pretty pretty classy, haven't you? Well, we've just given it some new elements from the uh, from the Whoop magic, and nice. we've got a tzatziki dressing, which Yum. we've tweaked with gherkins and not cucumber. Um, we've got a nice pomegranate, pomegranate dressing to go on the beans with the crumb feta, and of course, roasted potatoes with some capsicums here that so Chef I'll, Boy is dicing I'm, for I'm me. I'm doing all the work. Yeah, Good man. Yeah, 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 so that's right. Again, yeah. it's, it's just putting in new, new lines on old things. Yeah, yeah. I love, I love whoop because you know we're going to make it from scratch, which is why Mark's working now. Okay. But when you get whoop, you see, if you wanted your pomegranate dressing, then it all just comes like this, all ready to go, oh. beautiful and fresh and mm -mm, and all colour coded. So you handmade just, by yep. Zoe. Handmade by Zoe, yes, she's very busy, she's Zoe, isn't she? Zoe. Yeah, yeah. And Zoe, you're, you're our Zoe, <laughs> Mark. Yeah. I can help you, Zoe, too. Uh, so yeah. what do we need to get going first well, so there, Andrew? So we've just, yep. we just put them into nice little squares, uh, great, just roughly yeah. chopped. Um, and then we've got some potatoes. So we have just po boiled them. Well, we've, no, boiled them. So these are cooked. Right. And then mm -hmm. we just put them over, drain them in a colander, pop them over the pan just to get that excess liquid off. Right. So they're nice and dry. And then we're going to pop them onto there. Nice. Yeah. And then we're going to roast them. So that goes in a hot oven, a little bit of salt and pepper. But as Mike was saying before, these, these come all ready for you, so mm. this stage is really, really fast. You must love being involved with Whoop. I mean, yeah. it's fantastic the way that they do their meals. It's fresh, they source all their food from local produce, they you know, try and use free range where they can as yeah. well, and uh, you know, you've got involved. What made you love them? Well, I mean, I've done a lot of product development work in food, and I've stuck with food, so um, I've also sort of bumped into Thomas around town a bit, and he just kept drawing me into Whoop. And I was um, just really taken by what yeah. it was and what it is and how we've, um, we've come so far. So I said, yeah, I'll come and check it out for a bit. Then I've been there full time nice. and, and I'm not leaving. So <laughs> I love it. Works where it's at. So, yeah, yeah, no, good, good work. Yeah. Okay, and this is just going to taste divine, I'm sure. So we're about to we now, Mark. Right, so we're going to make this uh, tzatziki sauce. Right. So a little twist, yeah. So normally like fresh cucumber. Yeah. But it's quite a good idea. Like, I quite like this. So you've got the acidity from the uh, gherkins. It's more there. so the kids. Like it's, I've got to be thinking quite often about the children element to right. my meals and the classic category. So. Instead of putting in some cucumber, which over a few days it can go sort of quite watery and a bit mushy, but polarising, so we all love pickled onions and pickled gherkins, so, well, I did anyway, so I used those <laughs> instead of cucumbers. And it just gives it a, a nicer sort of fun flavour to it. Nice work. Is there yeah. anything I can do, Andrew? Or are we just going to watch Mark, Mark do all the work? <laughs> this is what happens when you order work. You see, you just get to chill out. <laughs> Somebody else does it all for you. You wash those if you can. I can wash. <laughs> He's making me wash dishes. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's that's one thing work don't yeah. do. They I'll don't wash your dishes. You've got to do your own pots. <laughs> You okay. could attach Mike nice. to Whoop so he could come round and do the pots for everyone. That's a good <laughs> idea. <laughs> now, if you've never seen us talk about Whoop before, have a look at their very cool boxes. They arrive on a Sunday evening, all ready to go. It arrives delivered to your door. Everything is colour-coded, and depending on what menu you choose from, whether it's a family or whether it's a couple, whether it's the classic, whether it's the foodie, uh, they provide everything you need. And you get this great little sheet here, and that shows you what your recipe is going to end up looking like. And then the easy-to-follow and instructions on the back so it is so easy to use great value and a really good way to get quality meals mm. that are fresh that are tasty and done in half the time which we love so um uh, as yeah. Zoe over here <laughs> you're doing such a good job Mark come on yeah. what are you up to so we've got right, gherkins so we, yeah you've got gherkins in there yeah a little bit of garlic well, chopped up in good. there uh, the yogurt in there and a little bit of uh, white wine vinegar and then fresh mint lots and yeah. lots of fresh mint you know and then you get that sort mm. of beautiful sort of creamy freshness for the dish perfect I, I can perfect with that. the lamb yeah that's nice and, and it's great as well up. you know and we'll get some of that a little oh. bit of seasoning in there so that's, cool that's my bit but well, if you, you know, grow mint in the garden, it's great, you know, it's like a weed, it just grows, it takes over the garden actually, so be careful when you grow it. But have it outside, you know, it's really good, and then you just pick it off the, um, 
off the bush and it's so fresh, so mm. flavoursome, you know? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, exactly, yeah. It's yeah, just everything, beautiful. Everything is smelling divine right here. And the good thing with mint is you can use it for mojitos as well. We are cooking up a Whoop Wednesday from their classic menu. And the designer of this particular recipe, Andrew Curtis, is with us. Uh, this is what we are creating. How is Mark going so far? Oh, he's doing very well. <laughs> nice. And you've used lamb, love lamb. Yeah, lamb. And he's done the pepper really well. Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Right, so really hot pan now. Yep. Get some oil in it, get your oil hot. Why does it need to be hot? So we're searing, okay, so we're not cool. boiling. So we're going to sear it, get some nice colour on there, colours flavour, and then we rest it and it's going to be beautiful. <laughs> we're searing, not boiling. There you go, that's a good line. <laughs> no, okay, true. I love that. No, no, true. No, I'll remember it, you see. Okay, cool. Right, so nice so hot. really hot. Yeah, because you can see the, you know, the steaks are quite, uh, you know, it's a nice chunk of meat, but it's, you know, it's, not, it's not too thick, so it's mm. not going to take long to cook. You know, you still want it nice and pink in the centre, and it's all about resting. All right, so we'll get this really hot and then we'll start cooking the steaks. Nice. Lovely. I mean, kiwis, kiwis love their lamb. And one thing with Whoop is they, you know, they source their meat, their yeah. vegetables from local producers. Yep. And, you know, that's important to people, isn't it? They want to know. They want to know where it's come from. You've got to be transparent. Yep. And, you know, people know that they can, they can pick and choose what they want to eat, and we just only have to get the finest. So yeah. well, that's what we go. do. Nice. Yeah, Keeping yeah. it easy. And now we've awesome. yep. on the beans, mate. A few beans, just yep. top and tail them. And then we just got some, uh, we'll get, well, we're going to buy some water, a little yep. bit of salt in there, just blanch them, a couple of minutes. Just do this like before, you know, when everything's yeah. coming together, so you can cook them, take them out, season them up a bit, straight on the plate and go. Nice work. Potatoes okay. are cooking in the oven, lamb's on, and we're just going to make a pomegranate dressing now. Sure, so let's get started with that. Start off with um, just the, what I've got here is a teaspoon of um, Dijon mustard. Yeah. A little bit of raw sugar. Nice. Just to help. Well, yeah, just to help sort things out. And the cider vinegar. Okay. And what into you cider vinegar? Oh, I, I like that all. Is um, it about the taste? Sherry vinegar. Or, okay, cool, sweet. You know, it's my favourite balsamic. Oh, as long as we open up the cupboard and we've got, you know, 150 different vinegars, and you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> should I use this one? So <laughs> Even lemon juice or malt vinegar. <laughs> okay, it's good. Just, it's just to give it a bit of a tang. It's, okay. You know, you can you can play. Use the one you've got. <laughs> Use the one you've yeah. got. Okay, good. And then with the pomegranate molasses. Oh, beautiful! I love this stuff. It's so so rich and dark and like full of flavour, isn't it? It is, yeah. And then that thickness as well. You know, you bring it all together. So it's like a, a it's almost like a cross between. A, well, it's like a vinaigrette, but with the pomegranate molasses, it just makes it really thick and beautiful. And then just slowly. Are you right with your uh, lamb here? Yeah, I'll, I'll let you me to turn it. them. All right, so have a look at it. Beautiful. So you nice like sear on that. Yeah, turn it oh. over. So, sort of two, three minutes on both sides, then just give the lamb a little prod. If you're happy with it, take it out, let it rest for about four or five minutes, and then slice it, and away you go. Nice work. Okay, it's all about timing, isn't it? Come along nicely here. Yeah. So, we've got our beans ready, we're going to blanch them, we're going to crumble a bit of feta in there as well. And this pomegranate. And we've got, yep. we got a little bit of sumac as well. What is that? Sumac. sumac. It's sort of a, like a citrusy, okay. a sort of a spice, spice, isn't it? Sort of North, yeah. North African, yeah. Yeah. And that is the Very recipe nice. to making that dressing just perfect. And when you open your cupboard, you might not have some of that. So the good thing is, is that when you order Whoop, you get it already pre-made. So this is fantastic. It's coming along nicely. Love Whoop, love Whoop Wednesdays. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, pleasure. I can't wait to eat it. <laughs> now, if you'd like to order a Whoop food box, then make sure for this Sunday you get this one. This is going to be in the classic menu. Just head along to their website, whoop.co.nz. Plus, we have the chance for you to win a Whoop food box on our Facebook page right now. So get in through. How's it looking, boys? Yeah, it goes oh. fantastic. We're just plating up. We're just finishing it off now. A bit more dressing on the bean. Yum! Yeah. Finish it with that feta, and you can come and try it now. Bring it over. Well, you can bring it over, over. so we can try it. <laughs> <laughs> Good work, Andrew. Thank you. There we go. Oh, yum, that's delicious. Whoop, whoop.